that's present. The, you know, I'm going to Montana to film uh, the second part of the story that I did where a grandmother for years said that her grandchild was being physically abused. Mm -hmm. And she took her to the hospital and they found broken bones that hadn't been repaired. And, and CPS claimed, oh, we're going in there once a week to check. Well, a man finally killed the girl. Mm -hmm. the, the boyfriend of the biological mother killed mm -hmm. the girl. Mm -hmm. When they went into the house, they found it was a chamber of horrors. Mm -hmm. She was living in a basement. Her, her bathroom was an uh, open drain. Oh. It was just like third world country conditions. There's no way CPS was going in, and yet they're not being held responsible. Exactly, and that's what we're here for, to bring to the attention of the American people, because that's the bottom line. I know you Early said that Ohio is uh, an accomplice to the rape, but you know what? We, the people who learn about this and continue to wait on others to handle it, or continue to remain silent or fearful, or sit back and say someone else will take care of the children, we are accomplices when that is our attitude as well. And um, oh, what I is your website? How can people learn more? Uh, www.lawlessamerica.com. Okay. And then the Facebook page is facebook.com forward slash Lawless America. Mm -hmm. There's over 1,500 videos on YouTube, mm -hmm. youtube.com forward slash Lawless America. So if you remember Lawless America and run it all together, you'll be able to find us just about anywhere. But, uh, mm -hmm. you know, it, America's broken. Mm -hmm. And it's up to us to wake up enough people in order to get it fixed. Absolutely. And uh, it's the biggest challenge there ever was. But as I said, I've said to people many times, Martin Luther King didn't have the internet or unlimited cell. Didn't even have a cell phone. Yes. Much less unlimited cell phone minutes. Susan B. Anthony didn't have it. They had shoe leather and uh, and hard work. Why we can't motivate Americans today? Yeah. To have the same kind of attitude because this is a this is a continuation of the civil rights movement, if you will. Yes, it's it a, is. It's a different aspect of it. And uh, uh, minorities uh, are bigger victims. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think that that's a continuation of the battle that Martin Luther King was fighting. Oh, absolutely. But, you know, th this isn't a, I don't want to make it a color issue because it's not. Uh, but as with everything, if you're... Uh, black or Hispanic or Indian, goodness, the Indians have it horrible in America. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, the chances of you having problems are even worse, but a huge number of, uh, of white families are involved in this. This is a nonpartisan, non-racial issue that every American needs to get upset about and do something about because yeah. we can have our country be whatever we want it to be, mm -hmm. but it's the 99% of us without power who have to get together and say, all right, enough's enough, we're gonna do it. Yeah. So hopefully exactly. through your videos and through the movie that we're putting out, if people don't cry and aren't sick at the mm -hmm. stories that they see in our mm -hmm. film, I'll be shocked because I cried and was sick and continue yeah. to as I, as I look at the footage. And, and the way stories. in yeah, which you same. mentioned the statistics on the blacks, the Latinos and the Native Americans, in the USA schools as that applies to school beatings, we have 2% of the population of Native American school children, 35% are beaten. That little 2%, 35% are beaten. Black Americans, we make up 17% of the entire USA school children population. We get on more than 50%. And then you have your uh, Latino statistics are very similar, and your poor whites. So this is who's getting it, America, and uh, obviously they don't have the articulation that is necessary for effective protection of their well, right own now, rights. What are and three things that victims of CPS family breakup can do? Well, first thing I do is record everything humanly possible. Mm -hmm. Get a recorder, get a video camera, use your cell phone if it's got recording mm -hmm. or video capabilities and record everything you can, mm -hmm. any way you can do it. Mm -hmm. uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't ask. I'd have the recorder going in my purse mm -hmm. or whatever and uh, it, it capture what you can. Yeah. Because the ability to prove the wrongdoing of these people may be one of the only chances. Yeah. The next thing that I would do is...